Today I needed to insert a branch fitting for a flow meter and I've decided to make a video about authoring branch fittings because it seems a little more complicated than the usual tube and pipe authoring. I've downloaded my part from George Fisher's website and saved it in Inventor format. But before we go into authoring, we need to create a couple of work features that will help us authoring it. So first we need to create a mating point where the fitting is going to touch the pipe. So work point by axis in between these two points and the vertical axis. That's our mating point. The second thing we need to do is create um, a pipe axis. So we're going to create a sketch we're going to draw a circle which is going to simulate the outside diameter of the pipe. We're going to constrain it coincident with the mating point. And then we're going to create axis through the point of the circle, through the center of the circle. That's going to be our pipe axis. The third thing we need to do is create a cutting profile that's going to be used for cutting the pipe when placing the fitting. So plane, use the pipe axis and then either create a circle or project the inside edge of the fitting. So now we're ready to go into authoring. Let's turn the work features off for now. In the authoring window, we're going to have two connections. The first is going to be a flange connection and it's going to have a special size. It's a 1.26 inch size that's based on George Fisher's catalog. And we're going to use the inside edge of the fitting for our connecting point and axis. The second connection is going to be a type welded. And because this is a special fitting for 150 nominal bore pipe, we're not going to have a minimum or maximum pipe size. We're going to have the same pipe size in both fields. And now we're ready to specify the connection. So first mating point, select the work point that we've just created. Pipe axis, select the axis that we've made. And then cutting profile is the circle of the sketch. Now save the part and let's try and place it inside an assembly that I have prepared. It should snap, and it did. Um, the only thing left is to see if it's cutting the pipe as we want it. And it did. I should have turned off the visibility of the sketch. Let's place it one more time. Let me turn the visibility off for the sketches. I save it. Let's do a couple of uh, cross sections. Make sure that the pipe's been cut. The only thing left now is to edit the root and put some proper dimensions because when you drop it in, just like with any fitting, the inventor will generate. A dimension for you and we want to have a round dimension.
So this is it. Hope it wasn't massively complicated. Give it a try and let me know how that goes.